Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. With Hack 5, I'm Shannon Morse coming to you from CES 2013 at Digital Experience, and I found Ubuntu. I mean, who doesn't love Ubuntu? I know all you guys do. And I'm here with Mr. Richard Collins. Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys have this new Ubuntu phone. We've heard so much about it, and we have it right here to show off to you guys. Now, what makes this so awesome? Okay, so this is, as you've just uh, told everybody, the, uh, the new Ubuntu Phone OS that we launched uh, here at CES this week. So, um, I can't see the phone with the microphone there. Sorry, but that's all right. Yeah, but uh, so this is, this is um, I'm going to take you a quick demo. Shall I just take you through it? So this is our welcome screen. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's got a very distinctive design. Um, this particular example is showing um, the Twitter activity of the user on a particular day. So, but it, it could just as easily say, um, suggest something around uh, um, number of phone calls made, number of emails received. So it's, it's just something we've designed as part of the smartphone experience that's kind of neat, very nicely designed, and very personalized. Um, the other thing about this phone is that it doesn't have any soft keys or hard keys. So we're using all four edges of the phone in terms of allowing the user access to all of the features and functions of, of the system itself. So um, we think this is very distinctive, very unique. It's something that certainly the conventional um, operating systems uh, don't employ in, in, in their user experience designs. Um, so this is something that you know we feel is uh, you know a very interesting part to um, what we've done with um, the phone OS. Now I think this is something that Ubuntu has really had to jump into. I love the fact that you guys are doing this, and I've been really excited about it myself, being a Linux user at work for Hack Five. Now. Coming from the Linux operating system on a regular computer with Ubuntu like 12.10 and all the newest upgraded ones, how does this compare with that? Is it would it be really easy for me to jump into it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the uh, the ambition uh, that we've had for Ubuntu for some time is to introduce Ubuntu to run on. Uh, you know, a large number of different different devices. So we've been very successful on desktop OS. Last year we launched Ubuntu for TV. Um, we're, this is obviously Ubuntu for smartphones, and we were looking at Ubuntu for tablets. So um, the way in which we're we're engineering those um, uh, Ubuntu across those form factors is to ensure that, that it's the, pretty much the same code base that's running across that same family of devices. So. The, the, the UI, for example, is um, pretty much the same code base that will work on the TV, the desktop, uh, the tablet, etc. So we're making it very, very straightforward um, and very, very easy for uh, you know for, for developers. Now I know we have a lot of IT users as well, a lot of hackers out there, and in internet and forensics, uh, lots of IT guys out there that would love to get their hands on this. Yeah. Would this be really useful for them in a work environment? So one way in which we've, uh, we, we believe we've got particular advantages with our, our smartphone um, product strategy, if you like, is um, to enable the, the phone OS to run on um, quite powerful hardware, um, such that once that phone is docked to a desktop monitor, um, it would also run the full Ubuntu desktop OS as well. So you have a really fully converged device in the sense that when you're on the move, it's a, it's a phone. But that same hardware can also act as your, your desktop as well. So um, you have Ubuntu desktop OS on your phone. You have Ubuntu smartphone OS. And you, don't, you no longer need a laptop, if you like. You can have uh, the phone to um, run, as I say, Ubuntu as a, as, a, as a phone platform as well as a PC, as well as a PC platform. Oh my god, I'm so excited. When, it, when it can I actually get my hands on this, on the operating system? Do you have any hardware coming out as well with this, or is it going to be something you can port? So we're taking a, a very specific approach in terms of how we start to progress things here on. Um, so in the next few weeks, we'll be releasing the, the code base for the demo that we've been showing here at CES. So. Um, all the hackers, all the developers, all, the, all, the, all, all of our um, Ubuntu friends can get hold of that code base, and um, there will be an ISO image as part of that to allow them to install it on a Galaxy Nexus phone. That, that would be the recommended hardware that, um, that we suggest. Um, beyond that, you know, we want to continue to work with handset manufacturers and carriers, um, and we're working to a time frame whereby we will allow them to ship 
their phones, um, running the Ubuntu OS uh, to retailers at the end of this year, beginning of next year. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to that, but I got to be honest, hey Paul, that Nexus that you have in your pocket, this might be the next thing that we show on Hack 5. I'm just thinking about that future segment. I think so. Thank you so much, Richard, for chatting with me about this Nexus Ubuntu, or this Ubuntu phone. I'm so excited to check this out myself. I can't wait until I see this on the market. Now you said a few weeks, right? A few weeks, yeah. So um, we don't have a specific date just yet, but honestly and truthfully, it will be a very, very soon as to when um, folks can get access to this, uh, this code base themselves. Yes! With Hack 5, I'm Shannon Morse, and you can find all of our coverage at revision3.com. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm here at the Ford booth at CES 2013 with Ed. How are you doing, Ed? Hey, Darren, how's it going? And we're checking out the TDK. What is a TDK? I'm used to an SDK. What, <laughs> right. what is TDK? TDK is a technology development kit um, that developers can get for uh, you know, app link enabling their apps instead of you know buying a vehicle or if they already have one, they can use an existing one. So this is a TDK. You basically have all the same interfaces as you would a, a normal vehicle. Um, you got the screen, you got the center stack with all the different buttons, preset buttons, forward, uh, back, um, as well as some uh, car simulation uh, toggles. So you can turn the car off, open doors, um, set it to go forward and reverse, um, have it parked or not parked, things like that. So what kind of partners have you guys uh, teamed up with to enable apps to come to Ford? Right, so I mean everybody knows you know a lot of the music streaming apps like Pandora, IR Radio, Slacker, NPR. Um, we also did some navigation based apps, uh, Scout from Telenav. Um, we have our own sync destinations, um, MLB at bat, um, and a whole slew of more coming out um, you know, every every few months. Awesome. Where can our hackers find the developer network to start coding up some awesome stuff for it's, the core? It's pretty easy, just like everything else, developer.ford.com. There we go. All right, and with all of that, I want to thank once again Ford for powering our CES coverage. <laughs>